you can pretty much spot a crazy driver as soon as you see one. Nope, you can't. And that's exactly the problem. You can only spot a crazy driver when it's already too late and you're strapped inside their car, ready to just, you know, accept your fate. So I decided to share this story with you guys about a time when I thought I was going to die, but I couldn't do anything about it. But luckily, I think I turned out okay. So a few years ago, my friend and I traveled to China by ourselves. And although it was Allison's first time visiting the country, I, myself, am pretty familiar with China. And therefore, I think I made for a pretty decent tour guide for her. Like, did you know that pandas used to eat meat? And that China looks like a chicken on a map? Okay, that's besides the point. My point is, I always visit with my parents. And we always go to the same boring cities every time. We land in Beijing to see my uncle. Then we go to my mom's side. Then my dad's side. I get some sort of breathing problem from the pollution. And we go back home to Canada. On this trip though, the two of us could go anywhere we wanted. But we mostly just went through different cities, staying with friends and relatives that my parents pretty much bribed to take care of us. Hey, here's some maple syrup. Please just make sure they don't die. Yeah, mom, clearly that is not going to stop us from getting into a certain taxi driver's car later. So at one point on this trip, we were staying with one of my cousins and his family. When they got a call from my other cousin, he invited all of us to go see him in a small city where he's living now, but that none of us have been to before. Yes, we are totally coming. Anything to get these three bums off my couch. And we all hopped on the train the next day. Two hours later, got off the train. Huh, this looks like a good place to get food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, I did. We pretty much knew at that point we signed up for more than we could handle. And, well, we didn't have too much time to look around before my cousin spotted us. Because we stood out like tourists in a small town. And Allison didn't exactly blend in either. They're all staring at me, aren't they? Yep. So because there were five of us, my cousin called another cab for my other family members and got them into that one, and my friend and I into his cab. And on the way back to his house, we had some small talk, and my cousin told us that he recently moved to this city for a new job in the tourism office. Apparently, the government had dumped a billion dollars into the city and said all Yakuza style like, now double it or else. What? That's like two billion dollars. How are we gonna get that kind of money? Oh, yeah, we should just get some tourists. Yeah, 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 because tourists are dumb with their money. And the big boss that ran all the tourism projects, my cousin's boss, who also happens to be my cousin's wife's brother's wife's brother. Yeah, that's not relevant to the story at all, but it was just really fun to say. But the point is, while we drove through the city, we could tell that this place suddenly won the government lottery because it looked like a big city from the outside. Everything was big, new, and shiny. But the other resources haven't really caught up yet. For example, traffic law enforcement was like non-existent. Also, this was 2012, so drivers were probably all like, hashtag YOLO gonna break some traffic laws. Haha, <laughs> already breaking one right now. Hashtag texting and driving. So here is where the story really starts. Our taxi came into a major intersection and needed to turn left, all right? But this was a red light, which he did stop at, thankfully. But then he starts looking left and right. Wait, this isn't a stop sign. This is a red light. You don't need to look left and... Oh, God. So while the oncoming traffic was still far away, he decided to use their lane to try to wiggle his way into the lane we were supposed to be on but traffic on that side was really heavy so he had no choice but to just keep driving towards incoming traffic he starts going all fast and furious as if there wasn't a string of cars coming our way at 60 kilometers per hour and as if we weren't also going towards them at 60 kilometers per hour and then this guy starts speeding up okay sir if you need to merge this is probably the time and then he starts Dodging cars. Cars were honking at us and swerving around us and all the cars behind those cars were honking at those cars all angry until our taxi emerged and they would be like, oh wait, what? You wanna die? Meanwhile, my friend and I were all like, this is it. We did. And then we finally merged. Just to avoid one red light. Good job, sir. We clap for your achievement of saving 10 seconds of our lives in exchange for a life scarring event. Okay, so just to recap in case you missed what he tried to do here. He tried to murder us! So for the rest of the ride, it was pretty peaceful. But I am not done with my story yet. I realized soon after that whole ordeal that the driver was creepily looking at me from his mirror. 
Oh my God, what does he possibly want from me? Don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. And he turns around and says, Ting tong ling long ting tong. Just kidding, I understood him. What? Wait, no, that's not racist. Hey, I can't be racist against my own race. Shut up. Okay, so you want to know what he said? He said, <coughs> Ha ha ha, did that scare you? Don't worry, I am a very good driver. You can trust me. Yes, of course I trust you, sir. You must be a very experienced driver. Now, would you please turn around and look at the road? <sighs> so for the next few days, my cousin brought us to do all kinds of non-life-threatening touristy stuff. We went on a mountain to see temples, and we went on a boat tour with my cousin's wife's brother's wife's brother, and remember when I said I got food poisoning? I got food poisoning. Good times. Hi everyone! If you enjoyed this video, thank you. And make sure to stay safe on the road, okay guys? Always look left and right. But if you didn't like this video, well, you can get hit by a car for all I care. Just kidding. But I do hope that you get into a crazy driver's car and then maybe you'll find this video a bit more relatable. So don't forget to subscribe so that it is easier for you to find this video when you do need to rewatch it. So stay alive, haters. Also, make sure to show this video to someone who is a crazy driver and remember to share stories of your craziest car rides down below. Don't forget about the like button! It's right there! And for those of you that stayed until this point in the video, you have likely been with our channel since before 10k subs or even before 1k. But if you're new, welcome! And I want to thank all of you so much for believing in me and subscribing to me and watching my videos and leaving those insanely funny or quirky comments. I am so happy that my hard work has paid off and your comments helped me realize that. Not only that I want to make this cheesy, I mean I don't want to make it cheesy, but... Okay, have a good life! Until next month, bye!